Hello everyone and welcome to another News Coulomb video and another charging site review. I'm here in Pismo Beach. Uh, it's just off the coast along Highway 101, the new Electrify America station that people have been waiting for for a very long time has gone live at the Pismo Beach outlets. This is kind of old news, uh, I haven't had a chance to uh, drive Highway 101 uh, for almost a month now. Uh, but uh, yeah, the site's gone live. It has four ABB chargers. There are two of the 350 kilowatt chargers and then two of the 150 kilowatt chargers and then there's one with a uh, CHAdeMO cord, the 50 uh, kilowatt CHAdeMO cord. So it's a pretty standard uh, site, pretty basic, but what's really nice about this site is it's just off the freeway. There is uh, another uh, 50 kilowatt EVgo charger in San Luis Obispo just north of here but the problem is you have to sort of navigate through the town and drive way off the freeway to get to it so this is a really sort of important upgrade it's not just in terms of speed uh, but just in terms of uh, lo location and in terms of accessibility uh, and it's also really important because the recargo site that was going to be going in uh, in San Luis Obispo just off the freeway that apparently got defunded and so we're not going to see that site anymore which is unfortunate but anyway let's dive right into the site score so in terms of accessibility i'm giving it an eight out of ten and the reason for that is yes it's close to the freeway but i'm just going to automatically ding any site i think one point if it's at a retail uh, shopping plaza and the reason for that is parking is a premium here uh, so retail centers are in my opinion, not a great place for DC fast chargers. AC, yes, uh, DC, no. And then the other thing is just the configuration of these uh, chargers doesn't allow for full pull through. So all of those reasons, it's only gonna get a eight out of 10 for access. In terms of amenities, you know, I'm going to score this a 9 out of 10. It's This is a site that's very rich with amenities. Uh, even if you need some things that you can only get like at a gas station, there are literally two gas stations, uh, just a, a short walk one direction or the other. I mean, maybe some of the services there you would need to drive over, but hey, it's just a single stop off the freeway. Otherwise, there's a lot of restaurants, there's a lot of shopping, there are coffee shops. Unfortunately, some of it might not be open 24-7, uh, you know, and this is kind of a quiet town, so you're going to be lacking in that. But really, the, the main reason this is getting a, a point knocked off of it for amenities is there's no cover for the chargers, and there's no... Um, there's no level two charger, anything like that. So those, it's kind of missing the basic sort of solar canopy covering protection. I mean, these aren't fully exposed to the sun and this is, you know, just off the coast, but it's still uh, worth noting that there's there's nothing covering, covering or protecting these chargers. So it's only getting a nine out of 10 for amenities. In terms of site concentration, uh, there are only four chargers here, so I'm doing my standard. It'll get a 6 out of 10. It's slightly above average, right? The three chargers per site is the dead average. For a freeway site like this, it would be nice to see 6 to 8. Uh, but unfortunately, yeah, it's, it's only four, so it's, it's a move in the right direction, but uh, we need to maybe expect a little bit larger sites for these, you know, freeway supporting sites, especially uh, a freeway like Highway 101, which is heavily trafficked uh, by electric vehicles. So it's only going to get a 6 out of 10 for site concentration. In terms of location, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. And normally I wouldn't score it this high because there are other chargers nearby. But this one is directly off the freeway. Like I said, Highway 101 is an important route uh, in terms of electric vehicles and in terms of electric vehicle ownership. Uh, this is, you know, it's San Francisco, one of the highest uh, populations of EV owners in Los Angeles or Southern California, you know, another one of the highest populations of EV owners. This is a route that directly connects those two regions. So. Uh, yeah, we need we need to have chargers along these freeway stops, and so even though there's another Electrify America just uh, you know a few miles up the road in Paso Robles, this is just as important. So I'm giving this a nine out of ten uh, for uh, location. And then in terms of speed, again, it's a 350 kilowatt charger. You 
don't see faster than that. Even the 150 kilowatt chargers, there are only a couple of vehicles that can even max those out right now. So these are the fastest chargers available. Uh, it's an easy 10 out of 10 for speed. Um, yeah, that's pretty standard for an Electrify America site. So that brings the total site score to 42 out of 50. You know, a really strong B. And uh, this one would take a little bit more work to maybe get to an A site. It, it's not just one or two things that it's missing. Uh, it's several, but you know, you, you fix things like access for full pull through uh, parking. Uh, you make sure you, these are covered, maybe add some level two chargers uh, as additional amenities, those sorts of things. Uh, yeah, it's gonna push the site score up. But uh, for now, it's a solid B and uh, hey, I'll take it. It's, it's an important charger and it's gonna see a lot of use. I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope it was helpful, and uh, thank you for watching.